First topic is from Christopher De Costanza. Joker is now the highest grossing R-rated film ever. To be frank, I thought it was the worst, most lackluster, most disappointing superhero and comic book movie derived film ever. Wow. Woo! <laughs> Don't hold back, Christopher. It's a tie, in fact, with Suicide Squad. I remember back in May when you read a message from a fan who was worried Endgame wouldn't top Avatar's all-time record as if their life depended on it. I wish grosses weren't tri uh, trumpeted as, as to imply quality. Thoughts? Okay, so Christopher did not like this film. Apparently not. He had, he had some problems with yeah. it, it looks like. But but uh, gross numbers versus the quality of the film. Yeah, look, uh, the one f to the first point there. Hey, everybody has different feelings about movies. Movies yeah. are subjective. I love Joker. You did not. And it's all good. Pertaining to the question that a lot of times we hear fans talk about uh, movies and the box office totals as if that implies that, hey, the higher the box office, that means the better the movie is. There are Transformers movies that join the Billion Dollar Club that are absolute rubbish and garbage. But I do want to say there's also an, a flip side of that coin, and I'll get to that in a second. When we look at opening weekend box office numbers, and just talking about opening weekend, I have always said that opening weekend is not really an indicator about whether a movie is good or not, because nobody knows if it's good till they see it. What it's an indicator of is how well did the movie studios market this movie? It tells us what type of film and storytelling is the audience interested in? What form of the cinematic arts is getting the attention of the audience to want to go out and pay their money and spend an evening out at the movie theater to go and watch? What's the substance of that? Opening weekend box office numbers tells us a lot of great information, including how good or bad a marketing campaign did but doesn't necessarily speak to the quality of a film. There is a little bit of give in there because if early reviews come out and it's great, box office goes up a bit. If early reviews come out and they're terrible, box office goes down a bit. So yeah, that's that's a factor. But overall, it doesn't really tell us anything. It's really more about how good did they market it? How well did they tap into what it is the audience is, is interested in right now? All that kind of stuff. That's opening weekend box office numbers and why I think they're important. I would make an argument though in talking about the wider ranging stuff about like the long-term box office success of a movie that while the box office numbers like in Transformers case do not indicate how good or bad the movie is I would say though that there is at least a partial element in there that comes into play right now the number one all-time box office movie is Avengers Endgame Worldwide so what is it at? 2.8 billion or something like that? 2.9? So somewhere in that neighborhood. <clears throat> a movie like that simply does not get that high without people going back to watch it multiple times and coming out of the theater, instantly picking up their phone, calling their friends and saying, oh my God, you got to see this or jumping on their social media with their phone to say, ah! It's so good and, and like raving about it and spreading word of mouth, blah, blah, blah. So while I do not believe that is the definitive uh, equation about that's a box office equals quality. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that at all. But it is one of the factors that goes into it. It's not a hard and fast rule. Transformers movies are garbage, but they've a number of them have done great. Right. But it is one of the factors. So and, and here's the thing in a art form as all art forms are, that's totally subjective. All film is completely subjective. Numbers are objective, right? So I think the reason why, number one, some people mistakenly equate box office with quality of film and why some other people mistakenly equate that just because some people are talking about box office, that automatically means they're talking about quality, is because in an art form that is completely subjective, there is the one little thing that is completely objective, which is a numerical value box office. If a movie made 210 million and another movie made 215, there's no subjective opinion there. That movie that made 215 made more money than the movie that made 210. It's easy to see. It's laid out clearly. It's objective. It's quantifiable. It's solid. It's facts. You cannot say 
objectively Transformers 2 is better than Transformers 3. You can say you felt it was better. You can say, yeah, to me, that was the better film and all that kind of stuff, but other people may disagree. And there's no quantifiable objective number or measurement to say one's right and one's wrong. But with box office, there is. And so I think we fall into the trap saying, which movie's better? Well, this one's got the higher number. You know, so it, it, it's a little bit of a play. Chris, you, I mean... I'm sure you've seen conversations or been in conversation where somebody been, this movie's better because it made more money. I mean, yeah. why do you think people fall into that? I feel like it seems like it's just basic consumer economics, right? Well, if a lot of people are giving their money to this, it must be good. Mm. And a lot of times that's not the case, you know? A lot of people turn into a lot of reality television. That doesn't mean it's super, super great quality stuff. But again, people have different opinions on what they like and what they don't like. You know, you were talking about The Lighthouse earlier, that it's a really interesting and engaging film and, and and, you know, a master class in, in acting. And as good as that is, a lot of people might not go see that because it's not their cup of tea. They don't want to see two guys hanging out in a lighthouse for two hours, you know? Uh, some people do want to go see something more, more Michael Bay with all the sets made of balsa wood and sparklers and lots of explosions. And the story doesn't matter as much because it's fun or it's something that they get out of it for a different reason. I just don't think we can look at the numbers to determine quality of stuff. Just the same way around award season, you know, there's all this talk of this is the most amazing film and this is so good. Again, some of those are great performances, but they're not movies I want to go back and rewatch over and over again. It goes back to something we've been talking about at nauseum on the show here, which is you can't really define what makes a good movie because everyone has different opinions. Cinema is so subjective and everyone's going to have different thoughts on it. Everyone's going to have different films they prefer over other things. You know, one man's uh, Harold and Kumar could be their Citizen Kane. Who's to say? Uh, <laughs> it's all it's all up to people's actual actual opinions. And while money talks and obviously gets more films made, more sequels, things like that, we can't rely on box office to determine the actual merit of a film. I think that's true. Well, guys, question is, what do you guys think? Do you think there is more connective tissue between the quality of a film and the box office results? Do you think, yeah, it's a factor in it, but not the determining factor? Do you think it has nothing to do with it at all? What do you guys see about that? Jump down in the comment section below and leave me your thoughts.